So you've been thinking about using Deadline Funnel, but you want to know, is it going to work for you? Is it going to help? Is it complicated? We're going to get into that and more in this video. Hi, I'm Jonathan Milligan, and I am the founder of MarketYourMessage.com, also the author of a few books, Your Message Matters, and the most recent one, Discover Your Message. And I primarily help writers, coaches, and speakers learn how to create multiple income streams and build that audience online. And in this video, I want to talk to you about Deadline Funnel. So let me jump right into it. What is Deadline Funnel? What does Deadline Funnel do? I've been using Deadline Funnel for the last several months, and I've been using it in different ways and testing out what works, what doesn't work with uh, my list and with my audience. And I want to share a little bit about that with you. Also, without getting too techy and geeky, I want to show you some simple ways that you can use Deadline Funnel. So you can see here at the time of this recording, I have run around 135,000 email subscribers through different campaigns and funnels. Now you can set up your campaigns in different ways. And the two primary ways that you can do that, I'm gonna be doodling here on my iPad, is really the two primary ways you're going to probably use this is either a fixed deadline funnel or an evergreen. Should be pretty obvious what these mean, but basically an evergreen is a fixed is when you set like a hard date. It is a hard date. It's a one time thing. If you're doing a launch of some kind or you're making a 48 hour sale or for only four days or like a Black Friday sale, you would use a fixed, oops, a fixed campaign, right? Now, also, if you are looking for something that's more evergreen, which was what I was really looking for, I'm happy to do the fixed campaigns, but I really wanted to get something that was evergreen, something that could just always be working. And these are not fake deadlines. One of the reasons why I really wanted to start using Deadline Funnel is because it's easy for us to put a deadline on something, create some urgency, and then a day later or two days later, your list goes and says, well, it's still available. I guess I'll go ahead and purchase it. And you start training your list that your deadlines aren't your deadlines. And it can be a hard thing to say no to sales. But since I've started using this, I've had people say, oh, I missed this. I was so busy this week. Is there any way I can get it? And it's like, uh, hey, we'll probably offer this again someday. And we'll always let you know about future discounts and sales, things like that. So it's really training your audience to pay attention to your emails and pay attention to your deadlines, which is really important, right? So going over here, I have mine categorized under some of my products. So Market Your Message Academy, it's a membership site, some different ways that I use that. I also have it under my Online Business Insider, which is more of my high tier coaching program as well. And then the sales circuit is what people go through often when they first get on my list. Now I'll probably do a whole separate video on this, but this has worked really well for us because it allows us to have an automatic way of moving people through what we have to offer. Now it's not bombarding them with sell, sell. We create spaces in between these different campaigns, but these first couple of ones that are here are really around my top tier program. And then I go to what I call my main membership, open the doors and close it. This is more of a $45 a month. And then the last one is my mini membership site, $7 a month in here. Now, of course you can see it says no sales. I don't track, you can if you want. I don't do sales tracking inside of Deadline Funnel. I use Kajabi and so I can see how I'm doing over there. So let's start with a simple fixed campaign. So I'm gonna jump into this one right here. We took one of our products that are inside of a membership and decided to sell it separately and then upgrade people into a membership. So if I click into this, I've got it zoomed in so it, the formatting may be off a little bit, but the simplest way to do this is you want to have a before the deadline link and an after the deadline link. So the before the deadline link, 
this should show up for us, is going to be the, the sales page, the offer that you're trying to make. And yeah, see how it redirected me? Because I need to set this up since this was a fixed deadline. By the way, that's a good example of what happens is if someone tries to access the page after the date, and we're talking about a fixed deadline here, which is what I'm trying to do, then it shows them an alternate page. Now, you could do a lot of things with this page. I could have, hey, these other offers are available. I'll probably do that at some point. But right now, I created a generic page that's just marketyourmessage.com slash sorry, and I use that for every campaign. So it just says, hey, special offer expired. Unfortunately, it seems like you missed out on this. If you're getting this in, as an error, reach out to support the thing. And I use that for every deadline that I do. And so you put the, if I hit edit settings here, you'll see. So there's a place for you to put your sales page. And then there's a place for you to put in your deadline. And since this is a, a fixed one, we need to go over here to settings. And you can see I have it fixed. I'm not going to really talk about hybrid in this one. I don't really use that all that much. But this evergreen and fixed is what I use most often. And so let's just put a date in the future for this at the time of this recording. Then I can just hit save here. And if I go back to pages, now this link should show not only the page, but it adds the deadline. See the deadline down here at the bottom? It adds this deadline clock that just floats there. Now you could change and customize this if you want. You can change the wording. Uh, you can make it whatever you want, but it's got the legit deadline down there. And you can change the colors, by the way, the font, what's what it says, all that good stuff. So I can reuse this campaign at any time by just going into Deadline Funnel and say, hey, I think I'm gonna promote this $17 deal this week. All I gotta do is come over here into settings and move the date to a new date. That is a fixed one. Now, if you go over to emails, it does, it also gives you some code for you to be able to add that in your email. So you can have a real countdown timer in your email. Now I typically don't use the email timer until it's getting under 24 hours. If I decide I'm gonna send two emails on the last day or maybe the day before potentially I would do. And just so you know what it looks like, if I come over here to appearance and let's go to email timer, this is what it looks like. So it's gonna put this timer inside the email that's actually ticking and it creates that urgency. You can also change the colors if you don't want black, you can change the colors to any colors, your brand colors, whatever colors you want. And then the way that you go about in putting this into your email, let me just back up again, is you wanna grab this code right here, copy it to your clipboard, and then you will go to your email, whatever you use, all of them have the code side. So you wanna to go to the code side and paste this code in your email and it will display your email timer. So if anything, you should think about using this for fixed campaigns. So those fixed campaigns for me are pretty simple. I will pick a deadline. So let's say the, the deadline is on Friday. And then I will, let's say, send a couple of emails that week, reminding them, I'm pushing them all to that page that has the buy now button on the thing. It also has a timer on the thing. And then as soon as it hits my deadline, it redirects to the sorry page and the campaign's over. And if that's all you did that would put like legitimacy to your deadlines and your campaigns, then you could do that. It can be extremely simple. Now, when it comes to the evergreen, this part can get a little bit more complicated depending on what you're using. So I use Kajabi. These work 
this deadline funnel works in just about every software out there. They have tutorials as well. So when you go into the platform, you probably notice this on my screen, but when I go to the quick start, it'll ask you what platforms you're using so that you can click on certain links and it will have usually specific tutorials for whatever software you're using. So they have all kinds that they support and in here it will have tutorials that will show you exactly how to set it up. Now, you don't really need to do a lot of customization with the fixed, right? Because the fixed is pretty simple. Uh, I will say one part of this that I'm leaving out is this tracking code. Now, this tracking code is what you want to install on your website, and you only do this once. Pretty simple to do. They can even help you if you're struggling with how to do it. Customer support's really good. It's right down here. You can jump on live chat and they, they do a really good job of helping you and responding. So you will need to do that. I probably should have started that at the beginning of the video, but the tracking code is just one time, boom, you put it on there. Then after that, you can do the fixed campaign just like I'm doing. You pick any page. You say, hey, this is my sales page. Hey, this is what to show after the deadline and you're golden. Now, the part where it starts to get just a little bit trickier is with Evergreen because what it needs is it needs a trigger. There needs to be some kind of a trigger for the timer, okay? And so it all works a little bit differently, but the way that it works for most of them which like for me is Kajabi, is you set it up in the system for uh, adding a tag. So most systems, most email systems, have the ability to set up some kind of automation where you add a tag. And so what I do is, let's say I wanna send a, an email, and it's an automated email, right? So let me try to give you a very specific example. I think that'll help. So let's go back here to campaigns. Let's say this one right here is an example. All right, so this is a evergreen campaign. It's evergreen. And if we go to settings, you can see we've got evergreen selected and the length is three days. So the question then is, when does the timer start? And that's where, if we go back over to the iPad, let me just scroll down here a little bit. This is all automated. So if you had a automated email that went out, and let's say this represents the, the link for them to click on. So this is like a day one email and this was automated, so day one could be a Wednesday, a Tuesday, a Thursday, a Friday, it doesn't matter. And you send an email out and say, hey, for the next couple of days, you're, I'm gonna take a $95 workshop and make it available for you to purchase for $17. It shows you how to enroll high ticket clients without actually jumping on a sales call. So click here, go grab it. So when they click here, this click, on the back end is going to add a tag in the system. And when this tag is added, it's going to communicate to deadline funnels to start the timer. So that's the simplest way of explaining it. Once you figure out how to set it up for your particular system, it's not hard, it's easy, but you need to know this process. And once you get this set up, you never have to mess with it again. That means somebody could get this email right here six months from now. And they're in this three-day campaign. And what's so cool about this is you start seeing sales come in and you're like, I didn't even know that was happening, right? Because you're doing something completely else. It's really awesome when that begins to happen, okay? So again, it's all based off of click, off the trigger. When they click on it, it adds a tag, which puts a timer on that. And that timer is going to create 
the deadline, right? So for a three-day campaign, if they're clicking on a Monday, it will say this deal is available until Thursday at midnight. If they were to click on that link the first time on a Wednesday, it would have a Saturday deadline. So it's really cool. I absolutely love this. And when you set up this evergreen, here's what's cool. The You can actually send a broadcast email anytime you wanted to. So broadcast is a an email that you that's not automated. You just type it up and you want to send it to your list. You can also set it up for that broadcast email to have, so here's your broadcast email. You can also set it up so that broadcast email has a kind of a link trigger like I was talking about. So say, hey, I'm gonna send out this email. If anybody clicks on it, add this tag. And it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna put them into this uh, campaign. So there's lots of different ways you could do this. And here's what I would say. You can geek out, you can get really complicated with all this stuff. I try to go for the simplest solutions, usually the better solution. So one of the primary ways I like to use it is just a fixed campaign like I've showed you, right? Because all I need is once I put the tracking code on Deadline Funnel, all I need are two pages. First page is what's the sales page? I give that into Deadline Funnel. Second page is where do I want them to go after the deadline's over? I've showed you my generic sorry page and that's it. Then I just start emailing my list. I don't have to worry about the extra tagging and automation and all that stuff. If you just did that, your sales would increase over time if that's all you use Deadline Funnel for. But if you wanna get next level, that's where you start getting into the evergreen campaigns. And that's where if somebody opts in to watch a on-demand webinar or an on-demand training and you want to have a legit deadline for the course or the coaching or the membership that you sell, then you could set it up evergreen and it will work wonderfully. There you go. If you got more questions about Deadline Funnel, let me know. I'll probably do some more videos on this, especially showing my welcome series that people go through. I call it my Grand Slam campaign because it takes them through everything that I have to offer and sees where they are and where they want to start. And maybe I'll do that in the future. So you got questions, drop them below. Also, there is a link below in the description for a free trial of Deadline Funnel. You can go get a free trial. You can set it up and even run one of the fixed campaigns, earn some extra money because you actually have a deadline and maybe it could help to pay for the tool if you want to stick with it. All right, that's it for this particular video. What do you want me to cover in future videos? Let me know. Tell me below. Also, take a moment, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and never forget your message matters.